Hi, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. So yesterday, if you watched yesterday's reading, um, I had talked about my daughter having a baby and being induced. Well, they sent her home and they did not induce. So now it looks like the baby is coming in the next uh, few weeks or between now and the next few weeks. So we'll see what happens. I have a prediction on the date, which I've had, uh, I don't know, for a few months now. So we'll see if my prediction comes true. I'm not going to say anything, but I'll let you know. <laughs> so... I thought my prediction was gone um, since they were inducing her, but I guess that didn't happen. So with that, Cancer, let's just get started with your reading. Let's see what the energy is here for my beautiful Cancerians. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Let's see here. Ooh, we got magnetism, and I'm going to read it. It says, a magnetic force surrounds you. You're being given the power to manifest your dreams into reality okay so cancer this is a good time for you to really set your thoughts your intentions on what you're trying to manifest in your life it's a very powerful time i almost feel like i get the energy here of a portal okay so it feels like there's a portal opening here for you or maybe it's a new door in your life okay something you've been trying to manifest so beautiful energy there Let's see. Oh boy. We got the yin yang energy. Okay. So this is in balance. It says there is an unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. Okay. So this could be what you're trying to manifest, Cancer. Somebody here in your life where there is uh, not a whole lot of I'm going to say reciprocity, give and take. Maybe you feel you're giving more in this situation than somebody else. You know, that's my twin flame card as well. Some of you, it could be a twin flame, but I'm going to say it could be anybody in your life. So let's pull another card, see what else comes out. Okay. Now, we also have here cleverness, and it says here, carefully craft your next move to use the problem to your advantage. Wow, your cleverness will serve you well. Okay, so I feel like Cancer, whatever your situation is, whatever you're trying to figure out or whatever you're trying to manifest, I feel like they're kind of telling you to be creative about it or clever about it, okay? So it definitely feels like an energy of not maybe making impulsive decisions is the energy that I'm I'm feeling there. Now, I'm going to say with this imbalance card, it also can be an energy of conflict. So there could be somebody that you're either feeling conflicted about or the situation you're feeling conflicted about, but I feel like there's a situation here that you are going to be able to use to your advantage. So I just kind of get this energy. Don't make any impulsive decisions. Kind of think it through. Ponder it. I'm going to tell you the best manifestations I have had happen in my life is where I have not rushed it. I have not tried to force it to happen. I've just kind of sat there and kind of let it ponder in my my brain and, you know, looking, kind of envisioning, okay, what I want to happen. And I feel like you're kind of being guided here to do that. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. Wish granted. I feel like if you do this, I feel like it's almost like you're being smart, you're being clever, you are being kind of skillful and very witty, I'm, I'm feeling here in the situation, okay? So very interesting energy I'm seeing uh, coming through for you here. So I feel like this could be something, and I'm gonna read this card too, wish granted. It says, what you asked for is coming. True, uh, I'm sorry, true meditate on your desires. Out I'm sorry, I have to hold it up, okay. I'm trying to read it at a distance. What you've asked for is coming. What is coming true? Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in the manifestation process. Okay. So yeah, I do meditation every day, Cancer. And um, I definitely 
though I try not to think about specific things, I let the, the messages come through. Um, but you can also manifest and envision what you're, you want to manifest in your life. Okay, so interesting. So I feel like this is not just about love, Cancer. This could be in any area of your life, what I'm seeing here. So let's get started. I just happened to notice, look, it's on the bottom of the deck. You have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is something in your life that you feel would be really fulfilling for you. So let's see what comes out. Oh, beautiful. You have the Sun card. Wow. <laughs> Gemini energy. You also have Leo energy. You have the Lovers. Two major Arcana cards here. Beautiful. Six of Wands. See, with cleverness here, I feel like there's something here. You're going to gain a victory. Ooh. And then you got the Devil. Oh, no. Okay. I'm hearing here, be careful what you wish for, okay? Make sure it is something that is healthy for you. It is not unhealthy. Now, we'll see why the devil is there. Uh, it could be dealing with the Capricorn. You have the Hermit. A lot of major arcana cards here. Yeah, there's something manifesting, something changing here for you, Cancer. If I didn't say it already, strong Virgo energy. Six of Pentacles. I talked about reciprocity. This is reciprocity. You've got the Queen of Wands. Oh, and you have judgment. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Two of Wands and you have the Nine of Cups. You know, I talked about something that's fulfilling, something that you are wishing for or hoping for here. Now, with that Two of Wands, I always say the Two of Wands too is about you planning, you having intention um, about the path you're about to take. And there's two paths. One is the comfortable path, staying on, you know, staying in the same place. Maybe, you know, fear of change or not wanting to make a change. And then there's a whole new journey. There's a whole new path there. And, you know, I'm really seeing here with the sun card, there is a path that is illuminated for you. Okay, you've got the magnetism card there too. Now, this could be somebody too in your world who is planning Okay, making some sort of decision, but let's go through the energies. You have the Sun card, and you also have here the Hermit. So, as I said, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo here. I see somebody planning, and like I said, I'm not going to read this just in love, but because the, a lot of you may see this as love, there's someone in this connection, if you feel connected to somebody who's very drawn to your energy, that's that magnetism energy. This could be somebody I'm feeling too with that devil card. This could be somebody quite persuasive. This could be somebody that, you know, you may feel very tempted by, you know, with the lover's card. It's also telling me here, it's a very strong magnetic attraction if this is love. But no matter what this decision is here, because I feel like with the lovers and the two of wands here, there is some sort of decision. Some of you are seeing repeating twos. Uh, you may be seeing repeating twos at this time. But I see with the six of pentacles and the lovers, there's a decision or a choice. Somebody's having to make a decision or a choice. And I'm going to tell you, some of you, I feel like this could even be a twin flame connection. We're going to clarify we're going to see here but it it's all about the approach is what i'm feeling with this this hermit card so i feel like there's something here cancer about you deciding how you're going to approach a situation i feel like more importantly this could be somebody who's making a decision not you take the roles how they resonate but i really feel like this is you cancer and there's something about this situation that you can work to your advantage 
I don't know what that is. Maybe we will clarify that cleverness, but you have the Six of Wands and you also have here the Queen of Wands. Now, I feel strongly there's something here about you gaining recognition, all right? Somebody um, seeing you in a respectful way, someone acknowledging you, attention. I'm going to say some of you, this could even be around your career, but I see you getting a lot of attention here, Cancer. I see your energy very, very attractive. But it's also an energy of being assertive with that Queen of Wands. It's about you too going after what you want and really being intentional of what you want to make happen. And that's part of the manifestation here. Now, we will clarify, we will see what that is about. And then you have Judgment and you also have here the devil card okay now this is with wish granted and there may be something here that hasn't been healthy for you in the past maybe that's what you're trying to manifest i'm just gonna say some of you you could have capricorn in your chart or you could be dealing with a capricorn i'm also picking up a fire energy Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. But we're going to see what that devil energy is. So let's uh, clarify here. I'm going to first start with this devil energy. Why is the devil here, please? Why is the devil here? Oh, the tower. Wow, Cancer. And look who's on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups. I feel like Cancer, what this is showing me, this may be something that you've wished for in the past, not necessarily right now. I feel like someone from your past is showing up or a situation in your past that was unhealthy for you. It wasn't stable with the tower. You see the two of wands and this is the decision. Do I go down that same path or do I take a new path? Here's judgment. Let's clarify judgment. Tell me more about judgment. This is somebody or a situation that has not been stable for you in the past. Eight of wands. Okay. This card's popping out here. You got the six of swords too. This feels like some of you it's communication from somebody at a distance. It could be long distance, it could be energetic distance. I'm going to say for a lot of you or many of you, this is someone who was unhealthy in your life who is returning. And it could be anybody, it could be family, it could be friends could be love but it is somebody I feel with the lovers that you have been you deeply care about or cared about I'm going to keep going let's see here tell me more about the hermit tell me more about the hermit oh boy huh? ace of wands and an emperor. Yeah, some of you, this is a twin flame. Somebody's going to try and rekindle something with you or is going to want the opportunity with you here, okay? It's somebody who is very drawn to your energy. The magnetism card can also talk about power. This could be somebody who's very powerful, like very... Um, authoritative I'm feeling here too could be like a type A personality somebody very uh, influential is the word I'm picking up here and like I said I don't feel like this is just around love you know for some of you I feel like this could be a past employer contacting you 
seeing if you want the opportunity with them but i feel like in the past this employer could have been there could have been instability or the environment was toxic um it could be a some place at a distance too so there could be a relocation that's I've, i'm picking up here it's not just about love i feel like this could be an employer too. You could get communication here from somebody, an employer from the past wanting you to come work for them. But others, I feel like this is a love situation, definitely. A twin flame, somebody you see yourself, you know, you saw yourself with in the past, somebody you wish to be with. This person's coming back around. And so it's interesting because the cleverness here, there's something about you being, you being clever. Now, I'm going to say I do read that too, is this could be someone coming towards you who is clever or a little bit sneaky, you know, or they're trying to work their way in with you, cancer. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Tell me more about the six of pentacles. All right, interesting. We have the Queen of Swords here. This is somebody you have your guard up, okay, with the imbalance here. See, we got a lot of imbalanced energy. This is someone I feel that you feel a very strong pull to, but you just realize that this person didn't give a whole lot. And so I definitely see that your guard is very much so up with this person. Why is the lovers here? Tell me more about the lovers, Gemini energy. Wow, look at that. We saw that. We saw that at the beginning of your reading, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, now we have two Aces. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who's coming towards you, wanting the opportunity with you again. Wanting a new start. Yep, because look, here's the World card. Ten of Pentacles as well. Very interesting, Cancer. Tell me more. Okay, this is long-lasting energy. This is stable, long-lasting energy. I keep picking up something with distance, okay? I'm going to tell you, Cancer, um, if this is a job opportunity, okay? Now, the, the lovers can also be about you making a decision about whether this job could be fulfilling for you or not. Like I said, there was something that was unstable in the past. Now, I'm just going to say this employer, I feel for those of you, it's an employer. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the new opportunity is toxic. Okay, it could be around the situation that happened. But I feel like, Cancer, there's a new opportunity and there's a job relocation here where you could make really good money and have really good benefits. That's just for people that you feel this is a job opportunity. And that's where I see the cleverness. Something is working towards your advantage. But a lot of you, this is going to be love. I feel like there is, whew, you know, Cancer? I feel like there could be two people here too because you have the six of pentacles, the lovers, okay? A choice in love and two aces. Something new here. And you also have the ace of wands, a twin flame energy. Got Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy. And also, um, we already said Gemini and Libra. All right, Cancer. This Ace of Cups is this new love. Let me use a different deck to ask that question. We're going to narrow down if we got two energies here. And that may be, we saw the two of wands, Cancer. That could be, if this is love for you, there's two, uh, you know, a decision here. The Ace of Cups, is this a new love opportunity? For those of you that this is around love. 
king of swords. I'm going to pull another one with that. Could be um, interesting. King and queen of swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Five of wands. No. This is a no card. Look at that. Confirmation there because here's the Ace of Cups again. So, no. This is a twin flame. If you connect with twin flame energy. Yeah. Someone's coming back around and they want the opportunity with you. Okay, this fell out. Yep, there it is. Bright opportunity. Aquarius energy. And there's the lovers. And you also have the Hierophant yeah, and it's coming. Look at three of wands. See, this could be somebody that you wished for, okay? Or if this is what you're trying to manifest. And I always say keep an open mind because this may be, this could be somebody that you really wanted to be with in the past. It may not be your ex. But tell me more about this ace of wands. Is this, a, is this ace of wands a past person? Huh? Interesting. Look at that. You got the Queen of Swords. Is this a past person? Yes. Page of Coin. The same energy we were getting. Look at Four of Swords. Somebody that there has been distance and separation here. Now, interesting that the page of coins come up because for those of you uh, around um, a job situation, this person recognizes, remember I said here, recognizes, um, I'm, gonna, I'm hearing talent, recognizes your talent, but peop, you're going to start getting attention here. So whether this is an employer or whether this is love here, somebody here recognizes the opportunity with you. Okay, there's something here too. Um, the Queen of Swords. This person's being very strategic. Very be, being very strategic, you know. And remember, I talked about the Hermit, which is below there. This is someone who is really being strategic about how they're approaching this with you. So interesting. Let's clarify. Um, the six of wands. Okay. Got the ten of wands. Let's pull another one. Why is six of wands here? Five of swords. And you also have the knight of wands. Yeah. There were burdens in the past, whether this is, a, you know, I feel like if this is a job situation, I feel like you felt that you didn't get recognition. You didn't get the recognition that you deserved. I'm also picking up something happened in the work environment where there was conflict. You didn't feel a sense of stability. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. And with, with a love situation, the same story. There was instability here, but this person here, somebody's coming around. They're going to try and get your attention here. Why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Why is the Queen of Wands here, please? Page of Cups. Yeah. This is someone they've had an eye on you. Okay. Okay. They've had an eye on you. You got the page of swords. Again, another energy of being strategic. <clears throat> Look at that. Nine of cups. <coughs> Excuse me, Cancer. So I'm going to dive deeper now as far as the love situation. Tell me more about this love situation going on here. So we got family. Some of you, this could be a family member. Like I said, doesn't have to be. Yep, here's the communication. Text message. Some of you could have children with this person. Oh my gosh, look at that. Two times in your reading. Three times in your reading if you count the levers. Magnetic attraction. 
This person's coming around. They're going to start, they're going to try and flirt with you, Cancer. Look at that between the lines. This is where there's the decision here. There's something here, like, I feel like you're going to need some clarity from this person. Divine intervention. Secret crush. This person is very attracted to, oh, look at that, addiction. No. See, this, this toxic energy keeps coming back around. And you also have here home. I feel like you and this person have a very f familiar energy that you feel with each other. And that's part of the twin flame connection. Some of you could just be a past life connection. But I feel there was something that happened between the two of you. That Those were the burdens, the conflict, divine intervention here. Either it broke up your family um, I feel, or I'm sensing here that there were your ancestors here. Your ancestors were guiding you through this situation. See, this person's coming around. They're going to try texting you or messaging you and start flirting with you. They're very, they're still very much so attracted to you. This can be kind of an obsessive energy. Now, there could be addictions involved here. Let's see what... Um, let's see what this person's intentions are. Thank you, Spirit. What's this person's intentions coming towards Cancer? And I'm going to ask because I want to know how this is going to work to your advantage. Okay, um, this, in, this reading is interesting how it's going, but what's this person's intentions coming towards Cancer? Nine of coin. The Hermit, Virgo energy, could also be down with the Capricorn, Taurus. Taurus again, Hierophant. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups. I'm going to pull four more cards, but I want to stop here first. Ten of Cups, Reconciliation. You know, Cancer, this person coming towards you, whoever this is in your life, this person's reliving the past with you. That's part of the judgment there as well. They're reliving the past. This is part of their spiritual growth. Very common with the twin flame journey. They've been doing a lot of soul searching here. And you have the nine of coin. You know, Cancer, what I'm really f sensing here is that you got someone who is learning how to give. See, I feel like Cancer, they're very attracted to your energy because you are very giving and loving. But I feel like this is someone who is learning how to give to you. Maybe that's why it's working to your advantage. But, okay. Now, you've got the Five of Cups, the King of Cups. Let's get a couple more. The Emperor, interesting because Emperor showed up earlier. And you have the Two of Coin and you have, look at that. Oh, that flew out there. The Lovers. So... This person's worried about losing you here with this nine of coin and the five of cups. Maybe they just feel like you don't give to, the, to them anymore. Got the hermit and the king of cups. This is somebody who wants peace with you. 
They've been doing a lot of soul searching. And like I said, I feel like this is part of their spiritual growth here. The emperor. I feel like no matter what has happened, this person does want to do the right thing with you, Cancer. Because I do feel with the Nine of Swords and the Two of Coin, this is someone I feel that in the past, they didn't make you a priority or they didn't have their, their priorities in order. And I'm going to tell you, for some of you, I feel like too, this could be, this could be somebody who is in another relationship or there was another relationship in the past. You know, hence why we have the lovers here and the five of swords. That's my third party card. This could be somebody who could never really make a decision here around uh, commitment relationship here. I'm just going to ask Cancer because I just feel like, okay, this person's coming around, but what is it they truly want? What does this person truly want with cancer? Huh? The sun card. They want happiness. Oh my gosh, look at that. The devil. The page of wands. The ten of cups. Okay, cancer, I have to be honest here. They want happiness with you, right? They want your warmth. They want your beautiful energy. Some of you have Leo in your chart. This is someone coming towards you, Cancer, but they're not serious. It's it's repeating a pattern here. You have the devil and you have the page of wands here. I almost get that this is someone like kind of being sneaky like i said earlier trying to to make their way back to you but i feel like their spiritual lesson here is how to learn how to give here's communication six of wands they want your attention look at that judgment so i feel like part of this cancer is like you knowing your value and your worth here Let's clarify this devil. Tell me more about the devil. Justice. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign, Cancer. That tells me this person truly wants to make things right with you here with justice. Okay, I got scared with the devil there. Tell me more about this page of wands. Why is page of wands here? Seven of coin. Well, they're planning... They know the relationship or connection here is strained. Why else is the Page of Wands here? Four of Cups. They're planning. I feel like they may be, you know... They may be feeling like they could be missing an opportunity with you. I feel like this is someone who compared you to other people in the past or they got bad advice in the past. Interesting. Cancer, I don't know where to go with this because this person here Oh, I wanted to ask your your what's the advantage for you? So let's use the, the energy oracle cards. With this clever card spirit, what how is cancer gonna work this to their advantage? I'm gonna pull two more. Let's get one more. Oh my gosh, Cancer. Look at that. The Angel of Love. I feel like, Cancer, the way this is going to work towards your advantage 
is because this person's spiritual lesson, okay, and they may have more than one, but right now what's showing up is that this is someone who needs to learn how to give more. And I feel like through that lesson with this person, the advantage here is not only that you see that this person cares about you, that they love you, but also that they have something to offer or that they're stable with you, okay? I feel like I'm going to say for some of you, maybe not all of you, but there is an opportunity here for you to get what you want here with the wish granted. That's only if you want it, right? It's all about what you manifest, what I talked about in the beginning. And I feel like you're really going to be at a crossroads with this person. But what you can work to your advantage here is receiving the love that you deserve by making this person, well, not making this person, but by this person having to earn your trust. That's what I'm feeling here with this man uh, holding a coin here. That this is someone who's going to have to earn your trust by their actions. Somebody who truly makes things right with you. So very, very interesting read here. Now you do have, I'm going to say here, you do have hostilities and you have door to value, which is another confirmation there, Cancer, that I feel this is someone who needs to earn your trust and somebody that you definitely should have your guard up because there definitely was toxic energy here in the past, unstable energy. But... This is part of the journey. I would say never wait for somebody because the twin flame journey can be very difficult. But this is an energy where this person really has to work and show that you matter and that you are valued because this is someone who didn't make you a priority in the past is what I'm feeling here. So, Cancer, <laughs> interesting read today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.